welcome to Beyond Astro K and welcome to Virgo September Tarot 2021. Now this is just a general, but if you'd like a full reading, head over to the description below for all of the details. Hello Virgo, happy solar return. Virgo, I'm reading your September 2021 reading. I hope you're excited because, you know, the sun is in your first house, Virgo. You know, this is your birthday season. And, you know, it can feel quite up and down this September. You know, every September is very different for a lot of you Virgos. Especially like in the beginning, we have, you know, Mars in your sign. Because Mars is in your sign for a while. And it opposes Neptune. So what this means for a lot of you Virgos is, it can be, it obviously it's like a push and pull. Like, especially when it comes to like your energy um, when it comes to like how you want to get work done, there can be things that can be very distorted, you know, especially in the early stages of September. And, you know, this could also also be to do with the physical body, but also your mindset, you know, even like your work. This could also be, you know, some of you Virgos may, you know, how you're communicating. It may not be, you know, this could make a lot of you feel that, you know, how you're communicating, you're not being heard, but you're not being... People think that, you know, you're not being very honest. Remember, because Neptune's involved. And, you know, even though I feel some of you are working very hard, you know, when the sun goes into your first house, it's about working very hard, getting a lot done. And because Mars is in there, you know, a lot of you, Virgos doesn't feel very comfortable with Mars in Virgo, you know. It's about drive and energy. And your drive is more of the mental. So some of you... We'll have to probably work extra hard when it comes to being, you know, physically, physical. But also when you're communicating as well. And it's about watching out for things, especially when it comes to, like, your career. You know, and, you know, see, not seeing things for what they actually are. You also have Mercury in your sign. No, sorry. We have um, Mars trying to Pluto in Capricorn and this is about drive but it's also about sexual drive so some of you could actually feel quite sexy you know if some of you are single you know you could actually get very quite obsessed with um someone because they they meet your you know meet your expectations but also you know just be mindful of you know falling for someone's words remember you're a mental sign but you can use this energy to drive into like a project that you've always wanted to work on. You could find yourself getting very obsessed with this project. You know, if this relationship hasn't worked out, this could be a project. And in a love relationship, if you are in a, you know, uh, if you are in a relationship, this could also see a lot of you getting, you know, feeling a bit more sexy and, you know, um, trying something different. Um, it could be some commitments as well. You have the new moon in your sign, which is a great time for you to really see, you know, what type of goals you would like between now and next September. And, you know, this is to do with like the physical as well. So a lot of you might be overhauling, you know, your jobs as well, like even like your image. This is a great time to do that. <clears throat> And yeah, then afterwards, you know, these are these are the <clears throat> these are the ones I'm actually picking out. You have the sun in your sign; it trines you, Uranus, which is also good for you to switch things up. Things will change within your life as well. Will you like it? Who knows? You know, because you're mutable. But remember, you're Earth mutable, so it does take a while for you to actually get to the groove. But still, it's a great time to be switching a lot of stuff up. You know, see it as that. And after then, we go into like Libra season, which is in your second house of money. So a lot of your, you know, when it comes to like your money situation, this would be, this would be a huge area of focus. So when we get to the cards, you know, the first card you have is the Queen of Cups and it is reversed. Now, I feel a lot of you Virgos may be feeling like the Queen of Cups, okay, because... It is, you know, whenever I see this card, it is a card that is someone that is very quiet, someone that is very sensitive, but they, they've they got a lot of things going on in their head, a lot of mind thoughts. And because it is reversed, I feel some of the energies that could be going on in the beginning is, you know, possibly a relationship 
that could be feeling quite tense because one or one or two of you may not be you know being honest and that could be neptune that's going to be involved and you know it is a card that you have to be very mindful of people or even yourself you know it's it's it's, it's a, i'll say it's a card of truth it's about you being truthful it's about you emoting because it's a cancer card so emote and you and virgo and cancers get on very well so it's about being honest being honest with what's going on if you're feeling very overwhelmed you know speak to people or even close people that you feel comfortable with and you know you have to be you know because it is when it's when it when, when the queen of cups does come up you know it is i do feel like especially in the beginning because a lot of you are going to be very busy yeah, especially with mars being in your sign there's a lot of things you're going to keep close to your chest and there's a lot of stuff also I feel some of you are like not wanting to say because you can do it all by yourself. But the more you do that, the more stress and strain happens. So it's time for something that's good to share the load, okay? Because the second card you have is the four of wands. And this is a card of celebrations. And this is like two people celebrating. They're holding the flowers up to the sky. And I feel that once you do open up more especially like the second week and then also when this the new moon goes into your first house this is about the self so this is this is a new time that you're going to be you know it's, it's, it feels like finally i can actually do this finally i can you know breathe a sigh of relief i can you know celebrate my achievements because i feel a lot of you are going to be getting a lot of praise um, if you're working in a company or working for yourself, there's going to be a lot more going on for you. And I feel a lot of you are probably doing that. Hence the reason why a lot of you are really sort of like going within. So this is a great, this is, this is a card. And I feel this is definitely for like the new moon in your sign because Uranus is involved. So there's a lot of change happening and the changes are going to be good. You know, try not to worry too much, Virgos, because, you know, the change that happens is a beautiful thing. And I feel some of you will see that change happening throughout the whole of September. Then you have the Knight of Wands. And the Knight of Wands, you know, it's a fiery card. And a lot of you, Virgos, you do actually have a lot of fire within you. But, you know, some of you are actually afraid to bring that fire out. And you know you have Mars, which is in your sign, so that can actually make you very much a, because um, this is a Sagittarius card, and Sagittarius rules your fourth house. So this could see a lot of you being quite mouthy as well, because you feel that there's not a lot getting done. The, you know, you could be putting pressure on yourself, or they're putting pressure on you, and that can make you feel very, some of you could just be very just, you know, not necessarily shouting, but like very cutting with your words. So the night is about messages coming, you know, and it's also about good messages coming. This could be a message that is happening, that's coming to you, or you could be bringing a good message to someone else. This also could be a work situation as well. There's things that are going to be, you know, and I feel that some of the things are going to be sort of speeding up. I think after the new moon, things will start to speed up in your life. But there's also goodness coming. You know, this also could be like a new relationship happening, a, a different tide that's happening within your relationships. And also because we have some lovely trines that's happening in September, this is going to make things a little bit more easier for you. You know, yes, you're going to be feeling, some of you could also be feeling, oh, you know, this is a bit too much, but I can still handle it. Mars, the Knight of Wands, I feel is great for a lot of you to be doing something physical in your bodies. Yeah. Um, September is a time of detoxification. So I'm not advocating like healthy eating or anything, but I do feel some of you Virgos are going to be, you know, really determined to actually, you know, this could also be speaking to a doctor, speaking to like a health practitioner. Or even you could be speaking to yourself and thinking, this is what I need to do in order for me to have the energy to pursue my goals, to pursue anything forward. Okay. And, you know, but it's actually, you know, the, the Knight of Wands is saying, you know, there, there's goodness coming. 
there is goodness coming but i do feel the more physical physically active you are um taking care of yourself a bit more like your mental and physical health the more you know energy you'll have and the more positive you will be the last card you have which is concerning like your love you know your health you have the lovers card and it's actually a gemini card and you are ruled by mercury like gemini so this is about communication this is about coming together i've said this before but you know i feel that some of you virgos actually need will want more loving in september especially when it's in your first house you want to come more together with your partner you want to you know communicate more you know and also virgo make your partner spoil you you know make your partner spoil you make your partner you know shower you with love and it's not all about you serving your partner it's about you getting something back from your partner making your partner spoil you making them even surprise you i feel they may be especially when the sun moves into your second house especially when venus in libra goes into your second house second house is also to do with like food what we put in our bodies so this is the time of decadence i feel so relax you know especially when the sun moves in and venus moves into your second house time to relax time to you know yes it's about money but i feel your money situation is quite it's pretty great this month because you're working really hard you know you're not overspending and i feel that even in september even when you're coming to libra season you're going to be a bit more diligent when it comes to your money but still, you may even spoil yourself. You know, your partner could even spoil you as well. Even your kids, if you have them, can actually spoil you. I feel towards the end, you're going to feel a bit more, a little bit more, you know, relaxed. Obviously, there may be things on your mind, but a little bit more relaxed because talking, communication is a bit more solid. You know, things are put more out in the open. And it's really great when the ending of September before the sun moves into another sign, things are just coming together for you, okay? So Virgo, that was your September 2021 reading. Um, please don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Also check out Empath Butterflies who does daily and love for all the signs. So, you know, feel free Virgo to, you know, um, comment and tell me how this month has gone for you, your, you know, solar return month. And thank you very much for listening. And I'll speak to you soon. Take care. Bye.